Hey, what's going on guys? It's Polix here. Coming at you guys trying to make a uh, new guide for 13.3 for Nunu as quite a bit has changed. Um, as some of you guys may know, Radiant Virtue has been nerfed, unfortunately, and they've uh, changed some tenacity adjust. So this does directly impact Nunu as previously I was basically telling everybody to build Radiant Virtue on Nunu as it was the strongest mythic at the time as Jokshow didn't feel that great but pretty substantial nerfs coming in with uh, total cost being increased by 200 gold which hurts Nunu as he's a low econ jungler. Passive uh, increasing the cooldown doesn't really hurt him as it kind of ties more into his actual ultimate cooldown. The increased health not bad. The only downside is that now it no longer gives you and your allies the ability haste as well as just overall being more expensive so you don't really get that much more from the item and now it no longer heals based on uh, missing health it's just maximum health. I want to be showing you guys a new build today because I constantly get people coming to my stream saying hey Polks like I am iron bronze silver gold diamond I can't carry I'm doing no damage and to be completely honest with you that was Basically all the Radiant Virtue build was, was being as supportive as possible for your team. Basically getting them a lead and relying on them to carry, which it just doesn't work out. So unless you really have proper macro and you have decent players on your team, sometimes you just lose games at no fault of your own. So we're going to be trying out a new rune page. So it's going to be the exact same. Phase Rush, Nimbus Cloak, Clarity Water Walking, the basic new new keystones. And then as your secondary tree, for a while I was telling people just go domination. Great move speed from Relentless Hunter, generally I was going eyeball or zombie, depends, some free AP, felt good. But now what we're going to be testing is going resolve secondary. So this is because with this build what we're going to be focusing on, we're going to be going the blue pet for move speed so we won't need Relentless Hunter as much and we're going to be taking Revitalize to synergize with Nunu's Q, giving him increased heal and shield power by 5%, and they are now stronger. This is more so for a supportive role, the second part, but the first part, basically you're just your heals and your shields are stronger. So your Q is better, your ulti is better. And then I've been doing some testing between bone plating and conditioning. Bone plating is a little bit better early, but conditioning feels great after that 12 minute mark. It really gives Nunu some stats increases everything by 3%, so you feel really tanky. Um, same tertiary runes with adaptive force and health that I was always taking, but now we're gonna be switching it out for ability haste instead of attack speed. I've noticed that the attack speed really doesn't make that much of a difference in Nunu's clear speed, and the overall ability haste is just quite nice, especially early since he has pretty long cooldowns. This account currently um, is 553 LP that we are playing on, so it's basically Challenger, it's one win off of Challenger, probably going to be a Challenger game. So we're going to be testing this build out for you guys in a high elo game. And the main premise of this build is we're going to be looking to go Blue Pet as uh, so our starting item with first back we're ideally looking for a Boot Dark Steel buy and then I'm going to be getting into it and I'll show you because it's quite interesting. Okay so fairly high elo lobby. It looks like I'm the only Grandmaster in the current lobby, but we've got a lot of uh, high Masters players, triple digit LP, and then uh, some Smurfs thrown in the mix. I will also add that currently, Elise is probably one of my least favorite matchups as Nunu. She can just gank faster, more, punish less, dive better, just an overall better champ. Okay, so for this build, what we're looking for is the blue pet start. We're going to grab a ward and a pot, and generally what I like to do, and I tell most people I coach to do, is just go throw a ward just near the entrance of your red Welcome entrance. This helps prevent any late invades. Generally it's more impactful on uh, this side of the map here when people are looking to stack and invade this way. Um, but it just gives you knowledge, lets you know if anybody wards your rafters. If we don't need a leash. Um, and this jungle clear more or less works on either side of the map. Still, as I preach to people in my streams, is we're going to be looking at three camp and either impact bot or mid. Starting on this side of the map, we'll be going red to raptors to gromp and then looking for a gank. 
whereas on the opposite side you would do red raptors krugs which is actually faster you don't need a leash it's fine you have smite you can q smite at 1000 you're great so this build what we're looking to do is we're looking to get boots dark seal early like any other build we would typically do and then go into demonic embrace now i haven't been a huge fan of demonic embrace um for quite some time now i've tested it haven't been a huge fan but I'm actually liking it quite a bit, seeing as a lot of the other Nunu builds, um, you just feel like you do no damage, but with testing this one, I've consistently been like mid to high on the damage charts out of my team, so some games even being the highest, but it all depends how you play, because it basically rewards Nunu snowballing early and gives him that extra damage and extra power to hopefully carry the early game into a victory. So yeah, Demonic gives you some nice damage, it increases your clear speed in the jungle with the percentage HP damage, gives good uh, damage to the enemy. And then, instead of going Radiance, we're going Jock Show. So, makes you very tanked, sucks some HP out of people, it just makes you basically survive a bit longer in dueling scenarios than Radiant does. And then, generally, we'll just be optimizing based on the enemy team, so it's basically a two core items. Talon might die here. Yeah, it's unfortunate. There isn't really any gank opportunities here for us, seeing as I killed bots, so I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm actually gonna opt to take my wolves here instead of blue because then I can take my blue afterwards. And it will put me closer towards uh, mid and bot to be able to gank or counter gank. I'm just gonna ping my bot lane off here because the leads might be around. Okay, we'll start our blue because as you can see, mid, very pushed to the enemy. Our bot, very pushed to the enemy. Gonna be taking this and slowly cutting it down towards bot lane. We're gonna be looking to get this crab that's up in five seconds. He looks like the flash over that. Talon's doing okay, but I know Elise is gonna be looking for something, so we're gonna take crab here. We're just gonna sit on the crab. We don't have to do anything crazy yet. Just wanna wait and see what's going on here. It looks like Pantheon's really looking to fight, so. Look to try and get a snowball going in here. Pretty sure he has no stones. That's a free kill. Talon wants to push this out, help him auto things down. Okay, looks like bot's trying to call for a dive, so we can try and get this going here. We're gonna be looking to go on Zaya primarily. Okay, that's fine. We don't need anything else, but my team is taking the tower for some reason. Good snare, keep Mr. Ability. Guy has no flash there. Looks like Pantheon's coming down. Okay, so sometimes you don't necessarily get kills from dives, but that doesn't matter. We got summoner spells. My team didn't die. We can always regain. The difference with this build compared to what we were doing before is it's you're still looking to gank on opportunities that you have to gank, but you're also trying to get your item spikes. As uh, demonic's expensive, Jockshow's expensive. You're looking at almost 4k gold core when you add in uh, Dark Seal. So regardless, always first back you're looking to pick up Dark Seal. Dark Seal and Boots are basically the minimum, and then ideally, if you can, a Blasting Wand. And I'm gonna pick up a Pink just because I have an extra 75 gold. Just gives me information. It looks like Halawi basically just being a top lane Chad. He doesn't carry his own. He's just constantly applying pressure, soaking a lot of jungle pressure. So, okay, so we're getting this crab done. We look to go mid here. Looks like Pantheon's rotating something. Be careful what I'm going into there. No Annalise is there. We hit her with the snowball. Okay, she has no cocoon. Definitely dodged it. Pantheon looks like he's looking for something down here though, possibly an alt on bot. Just gonna take our Grom because it's up. Generally when you go for ganks like that, you never really want to go into these bushes blind, especially if you're rolling through a lane and they have vision on you. Generally will result in your death. Now we are level 6 though. We can look for dragon, looks like Pantheon's probably on reset. Sweep here. Looks like broken A. Elise is here though, I'm gonna call for backup for my team. This could be bad for us though. I'm gonna drop a pink here. Talon signaling he wants to go in, so we're gonna see what we can do here. Oh, 
not sure. Okay. I'm gonna have to flash. I'm probably dead. Yeah, Renekton just basically one tapped me. That was my bad there. I probably should have backed off right away. It's okay though, it's not the end of the world. Seems Renekton's frustrated with top lane, so he's looking to roam. Elise is going to gank bot. I can't do anything about that, so I'm gonna look to utilize my time here and go take Harold. So even if my bot dies. Okay, she went down bot lane and she ended. Somehow. But seeing as I have priority top with Lowie pushed in the tower, as well as priority mid, I'm actually just gonna smite this because I have two smite charges. Help me take it a little bit faster. Talon's backing, which can make this a little bit scary, especially if Elise just runs right here because that champ is disgustingly fast, but secure it for free. I might just wait here for Crab. There's Elise. I'm gonna get out of here if I can. Okay. We could look to take Dragon. So we have Prio bot, Prio mid. Elise was just top. Khan's mid. I'm gonna have to go help this probably. He's probably just dead. He gets out, but we can't take Dragon. He should get first tower here. Let's see what Elise tries to do. CC Elise, Alt for shield, Smite to slower, she's dead, plot up to get healthy here. I'm just gonna opt to take Dragon here, instead of chasing them down, if Kate kills her Khan that's great, but I think Ocean Dragon gives us a little bit more than uh, killing that one on the support. I'm just gonna go drop Herald mid. We're just looking to get plate gold before it expires. That's all we're doing. Yo, I got Pantheons of Night. I gotta keep running though. Can't stick around. My team is coming, but pretty sure these one shots me. My AD carry is going absolutely crazy. So this is just one of those games, honestly, that uh, my bot lane's doing pretty well on their own. The enemy team is just kind of fed kills to my bot lane. Even though Alawi died a lot early, he's one of those or she's one of those champions that just constantly applies pressure, like. She may be 1 in 4, but she's got a 30 CS lead on Renekton. Renekton can never kill her 1v1. She's just constantly soaking enemy resources, taking them away. So we're kind of in this weird spot where we can try and help. Like, we're basically just trying to help Caitlyn stay fed, but she's just clearly 1v9. Champion is very, very strong right now. Best AD scaling in the game. I would argue she's currently the best AD carry to be playing. And when they're in the right hands, they are just a force to be reckoned with. So this game may not show the true strengths of this build, as we only have 2kp out of 11. Sometimes that's how games go. Maybe we'll be able to add in, stitch in another one in this video. It's gonna counter jungle here, Caitlyn is just... But literally one we nining. My superior skills have triumphed. Just died. Our time will be soon. Okay. We did no damage because he jumped on talent <laughs> while we were uh he was just outside of the range of our ulti. I don't think I can help you here, Bucko, sorry. Die as a result. Okay, wait, 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 he's going crazy. He's going stupid. This 
See, we can flash after this because we actually do damage because we have some AP items. All right. Well, Caitlyn has IE at 14 minutes. My Talon basically just 1v3. I'd like to think I did something. <clears throat> There's not much for us to do right now. My bot lane can push mid basically for free here. We can really contest that. I'm just going to farm some camps here, get some gold. We've got quite a lot in the bank here. And we're just basically looking to back on time for objectives. So Herald's up in 40 seconds. We can look to take red. Honestly, this is probably a situation where the enemy is either going to hostage or forfeit around 20 minutes. I'm going to reset here. We get a buy demonic. And now one thing you can do with this build, which just because this game is going so well, uh, something you could also replicate in your games, is ideally you want to go demonic into jock show and hold off on buying your boots. Um, just because you need as much gold as possible to build these two items because it's such a, a uh, high cost starting item. Uh, but you can go Sorcerer's Shoes and what I'd like to dub as the purple Nunu build, uh, Demonic Jock Show, Sorcerer's Shoes, and Medjai's. You can truly 1v9 games, especially in low elo. Now, if you guys are interested, that is something I could show, but I also find I get quite a bit of backlash when I smirk in low elo. Uh, even if it's on climb, trying to get high on an account, people seem to complain that uh, smurfing isn't a good example of utilizing a build, so that's why I'm playing in uh, the challenger account. So once you get demonic though, and if you have some dark seal stacks, you're very strong as you can see, we have 150 AP. We clear jungle with relative ease. I'll go show an example on dragons as well. Uh, you can solo Baron very easily once you have Demonic Jock Show. Pretty much any point after 20 minutes, you solo it very, very well because you can always keep Demonic proc. Uh, every ability procs it, your Q procs it, E procs it, as you can see up here. Just always proc. When it almost runs out, you've got something coming off cooldown. So, dragons used to be a pain. Go demonic now, very easy. Almost too easy. It feels like uh, the old Sunfire Nunu from last season. Now, unfortunately, from what I can tell from patch notes, uh, next patch it looks like they might be nerfing demonic clear speed and whatnot, so we'll see what changes then. But for now, this is definitely a build that you guys can abuse. Everything is going Not really sure what's going on. Going, really going crazy for this talent. Let's see if we can go 1v1 to Pantheon. The clips. I'm honestly just curious. If I die, I die. Not sure where he's gone off to. Gonna go blue pet here for the speed. But she's probably just gonna go under tower. I don't think he wants this smoke. Okay, we have to ult to survive. We tanked one too many tower shots. And I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so we do a little bit of inting. It's okay though. More or less just testing things. The outcome of this game will basically remain unchanged. Maybe I could have ran up there instead, but I think I get cut off regardless. Shut down. And uh, I didn't drop Harold mid or anything there just because I don't really want to take inhibitors just in case it's still pretty few minutes, so. We can just wait until objectives are up. Baron's up in a minute. Maybe we go for a little solo bolo. I'm just gonna drop that bot. Go take my jungle. So you'll see how fast we take Raptors. To uh, compared to before. I'm not sure if maybe the editor can pull up a clip of uh, me clearing Raptors or something with just Radiant instead of uh, versus Demonic, but. It's almost disgusting how fast you take them. It feels like when you're uh, full AP Nunu, how fast you clear them. And also, now when the jungle pet's fully upgraded is when you are very, very fast. 
almost faster than when we have it on this. Maybe we don't get a solo Baron here because my team is just ending the game, taking three inhibitors. We'll see though. Just for the content, see how we can take it. When the timer starts, 20 minutes. Interested to see. So basically when Demonic runs out, we can look to use our W. Just to keep the Demonic proc and the HP burn going. So this is without Jockshow too, mind you. This is just Demonic with some components. No tier 2 boots. Guessing... Oh, they have had probably around 40 seconds though. Starting blue pill or blue pets? <laughs> blue pill. Might end up turning on chat this game. Seems like we might have a psychopath on our hands. So this is round Diamond Master. Omar. Go Red Raptors Grom. Look to gank bot. Draven lane. Very chill. Pretty free game because then Draven pretty much runs down their entire team except for Sion. So as I kind of described in the other video, um, Demonic is a huge spike for you early. Gives you the AP, gives you health, percentage HP damage. Like, is Jane AFK or do they just pull him out of lane? All right, they go for the dive. They get first blood. Looks like Rumble is trying to gank mid. Chill for us. They don't get a kill mid. I don't know if Yasuo is back here. If Yasuo is back so I can't gank so I'm just going to start taking my blue. They have no sun spots so we can look to gank bot. I'm going to go take my wolves because by the time I take them my bot lane will be at lane. I don't usually like to 5 camp but sometimes in these games you just kind of have to because there's nothing else to be doing. No point in just standing around. Looks like their gin is quite literally running it down. An enemy has been slain. I can't pronounce I can probably just you look to go on Aphelios here. There's no wards. Looks like there is a ward. Or there wasn't. He's just not a complete idiot. You can set crab here. Look for an opportunity bot or mid. Maybe we get flash on Zara here, or he just stuns us. There no cooldowns. Love to help you. Okay, well, I'm not sure what you're doing. I don't really offer much, just walking up and hitting auto attack on either of them, so. Okay, we just match his flash and we secure the camp so he really gets nothing from that. I don't know what he is doing either. Uh, old people always doom the world, so it's up to kids to save it. A path around here. Pike's going in, doing pike things. Cooldowns, can't really walk up. Rumble has no flash. Beautiful. I can die for this. And we survive. Chill. There you go, reset. This game should just be over. Bot lane is quite literally unplayable for them. We can just go a straight dragon. It's nothing really an O2 Aphelios and O2 Jin can do into a 4 and O Draven. I don't even think Rumble can offer much. This Draven can just kite him and kill him without flash. And Zara is doing more ganking than Rumble is. But I mean, top dying doesn't really matter. Draven is just gonna. Hit Zara, two axes, and he's gonna explode. <laughs> My Draven's got Dust Blade at level 4. Oh, 
we'll just go bot and pike here again. Literally nothing they can do. Go on Jinx too. Get Draven another double kill. I could honestly give this to Draven. No reason not to. He will quite literally want to be not in the game. Oh no, they're shut down. Not the red buff I just gave to him. Alright, well that was just a bit of a fiesta. Really deep by us. Probably unnecessary, but it is what it is. We get some cash moolah coming out of that. Alright, we're really farming here. We got a lot of gold. Kind of chilling though. I could go back and buy a blast you want and some stuff, but. Yeah, Ken can turn this is not Stevens. We're basically just full through here. Take Harold. Chill. Got a lot of gold. Don't really have much of a CS lead on Rumble, but that champion just plays way faster than us. I'm also not really worried about the enemy possibly stealing this, like. Odds are Rumble comes, I can still secure it and then flash out if needed. That for free. Let's go take a look at his jungle. If there's anything free to take. Okay, we basically just got a leash on blue for free. We need 2565. What if I just went and took my laner? <laughs> what if I just went and took Yasuo's? Uh... I'm just gonna drop Harold here. I don't know why he dove. Ooh, do I get solar plates now? Kaching plus 350, just so we need it? Okay. Let's go back get Demonic Embrace here. I might just show the true potential of this build this game. And go uh, Sork Shoes next. Unless they have that before we can, but the enemy team is getting some kills, so maybe they won't. But we need to show the damage that Nunu is capable of, even though I haven't really touched enemies, but it's okay. Snowball in here. If we hit pretty much anyone but Sion, we can kill him if they're on Dragon or not. So as I said, take Dragon really fast. As you can see, it was 6k health, it's already down with 3k. Gregus did help a bit, but prior to that, damage was pretty bonkers. Pretty bonkers. Oops. I can't drive apparently, drunk driving, I don't know. Honestly, I'm just going to farm for 800 gold here, get the Sorks. The only, uh, the only downside with Sorks is obviously you lack more resistances. An enemy has been slain. So if you misplay it is easier for you to die, but it's also if you land your snowball in your combo, generally you're going to be killing them. An enemy has been slain. Try and give this to Draven again. Oh, we got a flash out of that. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> we tried our best. Okay, we're still going Sork Shoes. We lose some of our stacks, it's whatever. I'm just gonna get Kindle Gem. Actually, I'm just gonna get two rubies because it gives you more health. 300 health versus 200. Actually, no, let's go the Ability Haste. Pick up the Ability Haste, pick up the pink. So, some games, 
you can go Sorks if you really think you want to try and uh, get the damage, have true carry potential. Some games you're going to want to opt to, uh, generally you're going to want to just go Demonic, Jock Show, and then buy Tier 2 Boots afterwards, depending, like this game. Probably build Merc Trades, but I just want to show what the build is capable of, the damage we're capable of. Sork Shooters just adds on to that, like Demonic with Sorks is a pretty nasty spike. You can afford it early on. 14 minutes isn't bad. The other thing too with Demonic is that, like generally invading this new new, like you can't really clear fast enough, even with Q, but with Demonic, you can steal everything with relative ease. Scion might be an issue to kill, like, tough. Munigragus? Okay. He flashed, it's fine. It's okay then. I was dead regardless, so I just had to all in and try, which we got quite a bit of damage off. Lose our stacks again, not the end of the world. I'm just gonna go right to Herald here, and then probably just right to Dragon. It almost reminds me of those, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen those YouTube videos of like the Korean or Chinese Draven players that get like... <laughs> I think they're old. They don't. I don't know if they still make them. I remember watching them years ago. <laughs> like a Draven that would get in like a team fight, level one, go back with like BF sword, start laying, get like IE or some like crit item super early, get a crazy fed, drop like 50 kills. Probably scripted. But... Okay, we take Harold. Can't really one v one sound, especially with Zara around. Oh, 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 what are you doing? Okay. Not bad, dude. We are inting there. Didn't really expect all of them there, to be completely honest. We can push out mid. Pretty easily. I can go hop in here. Jin support is just going way too deep. There we go. Quick double kill for Draven. And we push this out with Harold. I just want to see where the enemy is at. Good Do that for each of you. We can probably take Baron, but I want to go in on this. Get the knock if I'm curious. Yes. We can just go Baron, to be completely honest with you. Draven has double buffs. I'ma just go Baron, if they don't want to come, it's whatever. As long as I have Draven here, we take it easily. I can take it on my own, but... Yeah, works too, just constantly talking demonic. This thing just needs to be melted, man, it's actually disgusting. Use Smite, 2400, get it for free. We can go by Jock Show. And honestly, I have my in their team. Now that we have Jock Show completed. They've got 3 AD, 2 AP. But it's pretty well balanced because like Zerath and Rebel are kind of fed, so I'm gonna opt to buy uh, Gargoyle Stone Plate since it gives you boost resistances. Look at that. And now I really don't have to back until I have 1550 gold. Uh, yeah, just 
go by. Zero, so you know. smite him. We've done 2k damage to champions. Lone. Monic. Pretty insane. I'm pretty sure you can just go kill Aphelios now. We got 1680 gold, and now we get the true purple new new. Right. Screw, screw gargoyles. We don't need it. We're going purple new new, baby. The 1v9 extraordinaire. Even dragon. Dragon is just gonna get absolutely melted. Eleven K health too. I'm gonna save some might just since I can use it in an all in. Yeah, we can just go mid. Blue pet going crazy with Magi's move speed. I can't go too close. If I hit Jin there, probably could have killed him, but I'll try to get all this farm. He could get a piece of this. Double kill. Happy feet, baby. Alright, I'm yeah. just taking red for the HP. Heal up nicely, as you can see. With the extra AP. I'm full health. Can't take the team to right there. What's going on? I guess we do have supers. I'm gonna take this just in case. But, looks like we end the game here. Alright, GG. Excited to see the damage. How did we do? Damage wise, I mean, we got Draven really fed and he was doing a lot, but we still accomplished quite a bit in fights. So we did 18,000 damage, which is actually quite a bit. Almost out damaged their entire team other than Rumble, and obviously Draven makes the graph look a little scuffed. But if Draven didn't exist, our damage would look a lot more impressive. But we out damaged the Asuel, the Pike, pretty much the whole enemy team. Really good game.